GTV. Today I would like to demonstrate how to do a basic startup and operation of a Fuji Electric Phrenic Mega Series AC drive using the keypad. After verifying that the wiring is correct, I will apply power to the drive so that I can begin programming. First, I'll review the keypad. On the top is a five-digit, seven-segment LED monitor. It displays running status information such as output frequency, current, and voltage. Below the seven-segment monitor is an LCD monitor display that provides running status when in running mode, menus, functions, and data in programming mode, and alarm codes in alarm mode. On the left below the display is a program key which switches the operation mode of the drive. Beneath this key is the shift key. It shifts the cursor to the right when entering a number. The last key on the left side is the reset key. This is used to reset a setting or screen transition. It can also reset an alarm or fault. Going to the right, I have my arrow keys, which are used to select setting items and change data. The remote local key here changes the operation of the keypad from local to remote. This next button is the function data key, which in running mode can display different information concerning the status of the drive. In programming mode, this key will display the function codes and sets the data. The forward and reverse key starts the motor in a forward or reverse direction as the stop key is used to stop the motor. Through this setup, I will demonstrate in more detail how these buttons work. Around the display are the LED indicator indexes. The description of information, condition and status is outlined here. It indicates what the unit of the number being displayed on the monitor is and shows the operating status along with the source of operation. For further information, refer to the owner's manual to determine what each index is. Now that I have reviewed the control panel, I will begin to program the drive. First, I will press the program button to access the programming menu. Parameter 0 and quick setup should be highlighted. If it is not highlighted, I can use the up and down keys to scroll over to it. I can now push the function data key to access the function codes where I will input my motor information. I can get the motor information from the nameplate that is typically attached